I have really small eyelashes. So nobody envies my eyelashes. Um, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't have focus on the views and on having a brand and having, you know, being successful on the platform, but I don't think that that should be your main motivation because every single time you're just going to second guess yourself if you're presenting information that you don't enjoy. That right now is just reading all my values of my content and like the views instead of like what I'm actually producing and giving out to y'all and I, of course I know better like I know that there are other barometers of success on this platform aside from like the views one there's y'all who like my videos and who comment and give me all the praise and the validation that I do sometimes hey I'm insecure I'm a human but like that's one barometer I YouTube has an analytic tool, which you can, it has like a, a dashboard tool, which you can see all your analytics. And so I've seen both from there before I actually watch it on video for longer. Someone sees your thumbnail, like what is the percentage of which the people click on the video that's increased. Like I've seen these increases, but it's on the importance of views and it's making me self doubt my content. So I wanted to show you all my makeup. I'm actually watching one of my favorite YouTubers, Crispy Knowing on YouTube, and he's talking about his current insecurity with YouTube, which is self doubt. He has 1.9 thousand followers. But it doesn't matter how many followers or subscribers you have if you don't feel like you're growing or that people are actually getting value out of what you have to say. Yeah. But he's funny. I found him through For Harriet's page. He answered a question. And then I realized that he, I checked out his channel and I realized that he did insecure reviews. And I like him. I subscribe because I like him. Just, I knew if I met him in person, we would be friends. So it's just really cool to hear what he has to say. I'm gonna get back to the, the video and I'm gonna do my makeup. And I'm gonna wait to remove that bag. So y'all here, but just be about like enjoyment like also there's another another weird thing like where people are like oh you do youtube this i appreciate it so much but i know y'all some of y'all are gonna be like what are you thinking what you you look so good on camera you you always come with like good commentary and eh? well you know what on this side of the camera sometimes that doesn't matter okay like there's a lot going on outside of these squares when i check when i press that off but that's where I'm currently at right now. I've been thinking of ways in which I can work on uh, processing my viewership better. So one, I took off, uh, there's a YouTube studio app in which you can check out your analytics on your phone instead of on your laptop. I downloaded that. Um, so consumed with how my videos perform in my videos. I enjoy them so much, but I've been trying to cut down on these because comparison will also is a theory of joy as well as also being contributing to my content. Um, it's really found in the past six months and it's been like well different lifting stuff like I think the food and that uh, was trying to enjoy more television, you know, away from uh, consuming so much commentary because I've been comparing myself so much, especially to these
subscribe to the Pissing Me Off channel for more content. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye! I don't really do much. I don't really do much. I don't even know if you can tell that I'm wearing anything. You don't want to do too much. Right, but I am obsessed with lunch. You can stop here, which I normally would, or you could do your own. Yes. I kind of don't want to do the brown lipstick right now. So I didn't put concealer or um, mascara. So I will add those two things. Nothing happened. Uh, who thought I was gonna do like a quick little transition right there? And it's hard to figure out if I'm gonna, as you can see, the bridge of my nose. And then I use my finger to apply it. And then you just choose the mask. I have really small eyelashes. Nobody envies my eyelashes. When it's time to come out and play, they will come out and play. So this is like a normal going out look, not really trying too hard. Like the eyelashes kind of make the ball go boom. And then I, I just like to make my lips look either glossy or 